y'all welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be showing you all this flat twist mini twist hairstyle that i created that can also be taken down and worn in a second hairstyle i am starting off with freshly washed and conditioned hair and as you all can see i did leave twists in my hair when i rinsed out the deep conditioner because honey as my hair gets longer it continues to get tangly and i didn't want to have to detangle like several several times while doing this hairstyle as you all can see my hair has a lot of moisture but we're gonna add more moisture to this because I do plan to keep this style in a little bit over a week this is my curl stretch pudding black castor oil I am going to mix those two together I love these products as they are very very moisturizing to my hair and of course I am going to keep it in that container because I believe I'm going to use all of that product this is the Carol's daughter almond milk leave-in conditioner I have been adding this into my routine to see if I see a difference but right here you all can see the shine that it just really gave my hair after adding it so here is my cream mixture that I am going to add right on top and I am going to work the products through the curl stretch pudding is a thicker product however my hair loves it it just takes time to actually work the product through I am going to section this section off once again and my parts are not going to be always crisp and straight as you all will see throughout this tutorial but I am going for small sections some of them may look medium but as you see the twist you will see that the twist will look and mimic a mini twist and when you do these mini twists, you really, really want to be able to twist tightly and continue detangling the ends as you move through. And of course, wiping the SS product off. This helps with drying time and also saving a little bit of coin so that you are not using more product than what you need. If I need my wet brush, I will use that as well as my comb to further detangle the hair. You do not want to put these mini twists in while your hair is not completely detangled. I do finish off my hair with a little bit of a coil just to make sure that those ends are sealed and that they are also fully and completely moisturized. Two rows are complete and as you all can see for the most part I have staggered these twists so that I don't have any holes and gaps. However the most important part is to make sure that you have a few twists going down the center of your head. So with my third row I actually started off in the center so that I made sure I actually had one twist going down the center of my head and that I would not have that annoying middle part that everyone hates. And I do continue this throughout the entire back section of my head. It did take a little bit of time. I did not know my hair had got this much longer. So of course it did take a little bit more time to actually twist all of these mini twists in the back. So I was elated when I finished the back section. But I really, really love how full my hair looks in the back with these mini twists and how shiny and moisturized that they look. As you all can see, the hair will swell over time, so the twists are not going to look as many as you thought they were when you put them in. So I am going to clip all of these mini twists to the back because it is time to style the front section. And as you all can see here, I am going for a diagonal part using my rat tail comb and I'm just going to get it as clean as possible without stressing myself out too much. I did see that my scalp was looking a little, little dry right there. So I did add a little bit of oil just to make sure that my scalp was moisturized. So of course I am going to add the same products to my hair in the front just to make sure that they are also moisturized. And when adding these products, I am going to make sure that I split those sections open because as you could see, none of the hair in the middle was getting any TLC or any of the products. So you wanna make sure that all of your strands are fully coated. For my flat twist in the front, I am using the foam, foam lotion by The Dew and I am going to flat twist tightly. I love The Dew mousse because it adds a nice, nice hole, soft hole, but a nice hole to the hair while also adding shine. So I am going to finish the flat twist off with a twist as well and make sure that I coil those ends. And while I am at it, I am going to use that foam lotion to set my edges. I love using this foam lotion to set my edges when I am doing flat twists or braid outs because it is not harmful to the hair 
and it really, really smooths the hair very easily. As you all can see, my parts are going in diagonals. They are not going straight back or horizontal. It is a slight diagonal because that is how I want the hair to lay and the effect that I was going for. So I'm going to continue these flat twists on this side until there is no more hair left. I wanted to give the other side a little bit of volume so I am mimicking how large the section was on the other side and I'm going to create about three rows of mini twists right over here just so that I have more volume on this side. And once that is complete you can go ahead and start creating your diagonal rows on this side to do your flat twists. And as you all can see, I'm making sure that each section is as straight as possible and that I thoroughly add the products and detangling the hair. When I detangle the hair, of course, I'm trying to get all of the kinks out, but I am also making sure that I spread the product to every single strand in my hair. And I like to use my comb as well as my wet brush because the comb is really going to make sure that the kinks are out and it is going to make sure that the products are evenly distributed. And here is what the hair is looking like. Of course, I am going to set the edges on this side. And then I am going to apply this foam throughout my hair just to make sure that if I had any flyaways or frizzes that they will get laid down as well. This is how much I love the mousse you all to the point where I am struggling to get the last little drop out. <laughs> So you don't have to sit up under the dryer for this hairstyle, but I am going to add my do-rag just to make sure that everything gets set in place. That's one thing I love about a do-rag. But I'm also going to add my bonnet right on top of this to make sure that the ends of my hair are protected. It is the next morning and you really do not have much to do but let's start by taking the bonnet off as well as the do-rag to see exactly what we are working with. So you want to start first by just lifting up the twists so that they are not laying flat and just give your hair a few little shakes. I promise that the twists will not just stay laying flat to your head and just continue to lift fluff and just enjoy this free hairstyle that you don't really have to do anything in the morning. My hair has a lot of moisture but I always like to add my curl shine right on top by Talia Waji because it just gives it a nice little finish and I really really love how healthy my twists are looking although I know I need a trim but they just look really really nice. As always I really really hope you all enjoyed the video and found it useful and just stay tuned for the next video because I am going to show you all how to turn this hairstyle into another one and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. See ya!